What's up, bro? Susie Damocles here, and today I'm bringing my hyper carry Decidueye build. This is the build that I go if I want to just absolutely carry my team end game and delete tanks, squishies, anybody. Uh, it shreds objectives, it shreds Zapdos, and shreds enemy team. So if you want to see more builds like this and you like this content, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below because you guys know I'm always trying to put out these guides for you. And uh, make sure you follow me on TikTok if you want to see like more like one minute quick guides as well or Twitter. Um, so Decidueye, I've talked about Decidueye before um, in my last sniper build for this guy, and uh, this character is the epitome of a glass cannon, right? It is a, uh, it's a hyper carry and a glass cannon in the most literal sense. Um, you really don't have many defensive options, and this build is very heavily leaning into the glass cannon uh, mindset of Decidueye because you have no defensive options, right? So in terms of other Pokemon, like if you're playing Cinderace or Greninja, um, where you have an option between fight or flight in that you have defensive options to get you out, there is only one option for Decidueye and that is fight every single time because all of your abilities exist to make you deal more damage to targets and not to help you escape those bad situations. So when in doubt, when you're using this build, fight. Just try and output as much damage as possible because that's how you win games, okay? Um, as far as the items are concerned, we're going to be going Scope Lens, Muscle Band, and Razor Claw because, uh, like I said, this character is a glass kin. You want as much damage as humanly possible, which means going Double Crit plus Muscle Band. Um, I talked about it in my last Sniper Build video, but really, Decidueye's Unite Move is not useful in a Buddy Barrier context unlike every other Pokemon on the roster, because if you use it in a range that is going to actually be beneficial for your team in terms of using Body Barrier, then you're probably just gonna get KO'd uh, because Decidueye is that squishy. Um, so instead we drop Body Barrier and we go for uh, the extra Razor Claw. Um, another option would be Attack Weight if you felt like it, or maybe a Focus Band, but I think that triple damage item is the go-to because again, all you're gonna be doing is trying to deal damage in this game. Uh, that's it. And especially for me in this game where I am being followed around by a slow bro literally the entire game, um, it's really important to be able to deal as much damage as possible because you need to carry people, you know? Um, some things to consider is that uh, while it is very damage focused, you have to be smart about how you're outputting your damage. If you go up against anybody, uh, even if they are even if you are stomping them and you are three four levels ahead uh, If someone looks at you and you are in range of them and you don't have safety or protection from your teammates um, You're gonna get KO'd straight up. That's the that's the problem with this edge why it's it's a later game character Just like a Gardevoir or a Garchomp um, As far as the actual moveset that we're using it should come as no surprise We are using Razor Leaf and we are using Shadow Sneak uh, because that is just the optimal moveset when we're going for a basic attack hyper carry type style, right? So uh, Razor Leaf is going to go and make it so your basic attacks can uh, basically have a Runan's Hurricane effect, if you've ever played League of Legends, where it's going to go and branch out and hit anybody that is in your vicinity. Um, and then you're going to essentially couple that with Decidueye's um, passive ability in terms of basic attacks which makes it so once you fully stack up your basic attacks you're going to start shooting them out like a machine gun they're going to deal less damage but they're going to fire faster um, and that combined with all the crit items that you're running make it so you can really just mow down entire teams if your passive is stacked up and you pop razor leaf uh, Shadow Sneak is there because Shadow Sneak has amazing catch potential. Uh, it basically just goes, it gives you a slight movement speed boost, which is really not that useful or effective. Um, but predominantly what we're using it for is to try and catch people out and find people that are hiding in bushes or trying to chase people down uh, so that we can continue to deal more damage to them. So if you don't know, Shadow Sneak essentially uh, gives you that movement speed boost. But then if you are in range of someone or if you get in range of somebody while you're using it, it will essentially shoot a shadow over towards them uh, that slows them and reduces their defenses, um, which makes it so you have an easier time of deleting them, right? So uh, that's why we're using Shadow Sneak. Again, we're leaning into that offensive mindset. So we're going with a build where Razor Leaf is just an insane offensive option for a basic attack damage dealer. And then Shadow Sneak is going to further amplify your damage to targets. Um, something to keep in mind with Shadow Sneak that uh, I really, I, I don't know if people 
take it into account fully is using it to check bushes or using it to see if you can steal a Zapdos safely, right? So a lot of people, I've talked about this in my Zapdos steal videos, you go and you want to uh, hide up in like top bushes. You don't want to necessarily be near Zapdos if you're going for a steal. Um, and a lot of people have adopted that mindset. Um, so what you can do as Decidueye is go and pop a Shadow Sneak, uh, you know, up towards those top bushes or up towards the bottom bushes. And uh, if it doesn't latch onto an enemy Pokemon, you know that nobody's hiding in those bushes because it reveals people that are in bushes. Um, which is really busted if you actually think about it, um, but that's just something to keep in mind You should you should try and consider that in your toolkit because uh, The way that Decidueye works like I said before is if you get caught out and you're just in a, a straight up 1v1 And you can't just like kite someone out like a Garchomp or something um, You're gonna get KO'd straight up so being able to go and double check that there is safety and that there's nobody waiting to gank you is monumentally important uh, another thing to keep in mind is you actually deal like a massive amount of damage to tanks as well because you're running that muscle band, you're running that double crit, and because of Decidueye's passive abilities um, when Razor Leaf and Shadow Sneak are upgraded, you're basically reducing people's defense and you're also dealing higher damage when, um, uh, you know, based on their HP threshold. So it's a really fantastic tank destroyer as well, but how you should be playing this character in general is front to back team fights. So you want to, look at this, I am really far ahead on this Greninja, and he still almost KOs me, because I have no way of, I have no way of protecting myself. I just want that to be an example, like, you could go, and you can be super far ahead, and if someone finds you, you're just gonna, you're gonna get wiped. And I have to keep saying this, because this is one of my biggest critical things of Decidueye, and I want to absolutely just jam it into your brains, that... Uh, it's gonna happen to you and so positioning is of monumental importance and that's why I'm talking about front-to-back team fighting which means uh, your frontliners your tanks um, they should be in front of you and you should be far behind them now this zero aura there's nothing I could do here right like if I'm playing Cinderace, uh, you know, maybe I could faint it. If I'm playing Greninja, I could go and uh, pop a double team and iframe the Unite move or the Wild Charge or something. But I'm playing Decidueye, and even though that Zero Aura was basically AFK, it uh, pops a Wild Charge on me, which I can't defend from, and pops a Unite move on me, which I also can't defend from. And then slow br the slow row that's been following me around the entire game uh, doesn't land the abilities that are necessary for me to survive. At the end of the day, it's good because, uh, I don't wanna say it's good, but it's better than going and getting KO'd uh, around Zapto's time and then being out for the remainder of the game because of Pokemon Unite's busted death timers. Uh, so at least my death timer is wiped clean, right? Uh, but I keep getting off this point, I apologize. So front to back team fights, you should be behind your entire team. and trying to position yourself in order to deal as much damage as humanly possible without actually going and being up front and thinking that you can do some kind of outplay because while you can do that with cinderace uh and greninja you have zero ability to survive as decidueye you have one of the lowest hp pools in the entire game and your only goal is to deal as much damage as you possibly can before other people can find you and ko you um, and so especially if you're playing a hyper carry it is your role to position correctly and to make sure that you go get that passive procced first, right? Get your basic attack up so that when you go and pop Razor Leaf, you're hitting everybody in the vicinity that Razor Leaf is procking off of. You're hitting them with that uh, enhanced basic attack. That's monumentally important when you're playing this character uh, because it's a massive damage increase uh, when you have your passive fully procced and you pop the Razor Leaf, and you pop the Shadow Sneak, okay? Um, before this game ends, I do want to just say, in regards to the Unite move, uh, like I was saying before, it's not really a great Unite move in terms of, you know, uh, team fighting potential and, like, buddy barrier usage and stuff like that. You really have to use it in a way that you are totally away from the enemy team. Uh, you want to use it to pick people off because, it, if I'm remembering correctly, it deals more damage to low HP targets. Um, so use it when people are trying to flee and they think they've made they've uh, made enough headway on you that they can escape. Go and use it, pop it, and aim it at them as they're running away to to cl try and clean up. Clean up. Or uh, if you're in a situation where your team is already in the process of fighting the enemy, and you can go and pop it safely without people realizing that it's popped first. 
right? That way you can get like a full channel off. You saw early in the video, you can always rewind back, um, where I popped it, three people were heading towards my teammates, and I was able to go and output a large amount of damage on them uh, bef before they actually realized that I was there. Um, so that was, those are my tips. That's my build. I hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below. How are you feeling about Pokemon Unite right now? I'm not really having the most fun time in the world, as you can tell, because uh, I just multiple games i will just get people trolling or following me uh especially if you pick decidueye because people are salty and the matchmaking is still pretty rough uh but i'm trying to put out content for you guys and uh, you guys let me know what you want to see next thank you so much for watching i appreciate all the support make sure you hit the like button hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and let me know what you guys want to see let me know if you're playing any other games you know pearl diamond um anything like that uh, so that's it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Adamocles out.